In this video, I will be providing you with another example for installing the drain pipe plumbing for this small house that I designed a few years ago. And basically what we have is a one bedroom home, closet, bath, living room, and kitchen. And we're going to have a sink, toilet, and a tub and shower combo unit, along with a washing machine and a kitchen sink. So let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen sink where we're going to be going around the king studs. Remember, it's not a good thing to drill through the king studs if they're going to be 2x4. You can drill through a 2x6. And even though I used 2 inch pipes for our vents, you can use an inch and a half pipe here and an inch and a half pipe here for your kitchen sink vent along with the wash machine vent. However, we will need a two inch pipe for the washing machine, inch and a half minimum for the kitchen sink. And in the last video, I had the drain over here and the vent going around the king stud framing. And over here, we're gonna have to zoom in and take a look at the connection here between the trap and the vent and the drain. And that's the fact that the distance between these two pipes here needs to be at least twice the diameter of the drain pipe, which would be four inches from here to here to prevent the water in the trap that is creating the seal to prevent sewer gases from entering into your home from siphoning out. And I'll try to create a video on that in the future. So in the previous example, I had this coupling right here butting right up against the sanitary tee, and that is not going to make your building inspector happy. And in this example, I have one vent coming out of the roof. And even though I'm going to be using a two inch pipe here in your area, it might need to be larger. And in my opinion, this is the only thing that could create a problem with the plumbing drain pipe layout in this video throughout all of the different cities, counties or states located within the United States of America. And this is another lesson I learned while doing some of my videos in the past. Next up, let's take a look at the bathroom lavatory sink that usually has an inch and a quarter drain and a trap going into an inch and a half pipe. So what we have here is an inch and a half pipe coming off of the sanitary tee and then connecting to a fitting that will reduce this to an inch and a quarter. And even though I have a two inch drain and a two inch vent, you can have an inch and a half vent and an inch and a half drain for a bathroom lavatory sink. And of course, I'm going to have a two inch vent for the toilet. And in my example here, I have a two inch vent for the bathtub. And if you're going to have a concrete foundation, then you're going to need to box it out before you pour your slab so that the plumber will have room to install the trap for the bathtub. Next up, let's go ahead and remove the bathroom fixtures so that we can get a better look at the plumbing here. And of course, we're going to have a clean out located in the front and a clean out located in the back. So if there is ever a clog in the pipe here, you're going to be able to run a drain cleaning snake through it. And even though I might not need a clean out here, as long as I can remove the trap so that I can run a drain pipe cleaning snake through here, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a clean out here and a clean out here. So let's go ahead and put a couple of clean outs in here. Next up, let's go ahead and remove the concrete foundation. And then let's go ahead and remove the ground so that we can get a better look at what we're dealing with here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the toilet and the bathtub drain pipe connection over here. And of course, the toilet with the flange over here. And another thing I changed here is that I added a four inch pipe. This is all four inches along with the toilet. And I believe in the previous example, I had three inch pipe. And even if it does work for your building inspector, I think any plumber will tell you that it's going to be money well spent using a four inch pipe here instead of a three inch pipe. And I'm using a Y combo fitting here along with a Y combo fitting here. You can use a sand tee here. And we're using a sanitary tee here along with another combo Y fitting and a long sweep 90 here. And you can use a short 90 here. However, I like to use the long 90s here if I can. And our vent starts here and goes up and then starts here above the sanitary tee and goes up. And you can see here where the clean outs could be used to clear this section here 
or this section here if it got clogged. And if this section here got clogged, you might need to pull the toilet or run some type of a snake through the toilet. Next up, let's head over to the lavatory drain where we're gonna have a sanitary tee here. Again, this can all be inch and a half. However, I have two inch going all the way through here. So if you were going to use inch and a half, you could use an inch and a half combo fitting, inch and a half here, four inches here, four inches here, and then a long sweep 90 here, and then a sanitary tee here. And if you're gonna use what I'm using in the video, then you're gonna have an inch and a half connection over here, a two inch connection here, and a two inch connection for your fitting. And again, this is gonna be a sanitary tee. Then we're gonna have the same combo over here coming off with a two inch line. And that two inch line will go over and pick up the wash machine drain and the kitchen sink. And if it's gonna be easier for you, then you could always come over here, forget about the 45, come over here and then 90 back over to here as another option to connect the kitchen sink to the wash machine drain line. And here we're gonna have another Y fitting, but it's gonna be two inches all the way around. And then we're gonna come over to a two inch 45 and then a two inch long sweep 90, come up to a two inch sanitary T. And then we're gonna angle the pipe a little bit and then use a couple of 22 and a half degree fittings here to pick up the kitchen sink. Now this line here will need to be an inch and a half. So we're gonna have a sanitary T fitting with an inch and a half over here, two inches on the top, two inches on the bottom. However, you could use a fitting with a two inch bottom, an inch and a half side outlet, and an inch and a half coming out of the top. And that's normally what I would use to hook up a kitchen sink. However, on the wash machine, we're gonna have a two inch 90 over here, long 90 or a sweep. Then that's gonna come up to a two inch sanitary T. That's two inches all the way around in our example, or you can have a two inch coming out of the side, two inch at the bottom, and an inch and a half coming out for your vent. Then we're gonna use a trap and then come up with a 45 to finish the connection for our laundry drain. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the venting for the bathroom sink, and that will connect to an upside down double sanitary T. And then our bathtub vent will also hook up to the same pipe. We're allowed to have up to 12 fixture units or 20 fixture units, depending upon the developed length of the vent system. And when we put the sanitary tee upside down, that's going to have a slope that's gonna go in this direction of a quarter of an inch per foot on both sides. So we're going to be sloping away from this vent pipe. So any moisture or condensation that gets in here can safely drain out through the waste system. And hopefully I have covered everything in the video. And if I haven't, feel free to provide us with anything that I didn't mention or provide us with any corrections that might need to be made to the building codes or the plumbing system that I've provided you with. And if there are any modifications that need to be made, I will provide you with links to new videos in the video comment area, along with reasons why those changes would have been made. Don't forget to provide us with building code reference numbers also when sharing information about this video.